Hey, um, let me just ask you a question. Do you like America? Is this a great nation? And let's take a look about America and kind of see what it is that we like about it. Do you remember that we won two world wars? We didn't annex any territory. We didn't crown any kings or emperors. But what we did do was vote to tax ourselves to rebuild our enemies. How often has that ever happened in world history? We have the oldest written constitution. And the world over is blessed for the innovations and technology that have come from America. And then, if you really think about it, you think about the times there's a tsunami or an earthquake or something like that. And what do you remember? A gray hole with the red, white, and blue behind, full of medical supplies and food to help people all over the world. And you know what? That's who we are. That's what America is. We give back. We help other people. We bring freedom where we go. So, doesn't that suggest we ask the question, what is the secret that made America different than any other nation? Well, I think that's uh, explained pretty readily. When you take a look at our Declaration of Independence, it's built on the brilliant idea that there is a creator that God intended you to have life, to have liberty, to pursue happiness. And these aren't things that are given to us by presidents or kings or courts or legislators. It's in God's heart that you're blessed with life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness. Life is put first. That's pretty obvious why. If you don't have life, nothing else does you any good. And yet, we see that there is a party in America who is unwilling to stand for the most basic thing, and that is life. If our government does not protect life, then by the very words of the Declaration, it's failing in its fundamental purpose. Remember, life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. And then the, the sentence goes on to say, and governments are instituted among men to protect those things. If we don't protect it, we're not doing our job. Now, the next thing you got is liberty. Liberty and free speech. We have free speech here today, a good example of it. We have a chance also to vote in elections. I hope you're gonna be there. And we have the liberty to keep the things that we earn. That's what America is founded on. And then the last, the last thing is the pursuit of happiness. This is the American dream. The idea that every single one of us is a child of God and was created for some special purpose. And every day we get to get up in the morning and turn another page in the book that's talking about the adventure of our own lives. And we can go out and pursue whatever those goals and dreams are. And people go out and do all kinds of stuff. You know how it works in America. People tell you, oh, you can't do that. It'll never work. And then we prove them wrong. We got some pretty weird people in America. You remember Thomas Edison? He built a hundred light bulbs. Somebody went up to him and said, are you discouraged? He says, oh no, I know a hundred ways not to build a light bulb. Because we're Americans, that's who we are. We pursue happiness, that's the American dream. And all of that that we love is being threatened by Claire McCaskill and Barack Obama. I give them credit for starting at a fundamental level. They want to vote and yell God out of our government down in their convention. They had a great big yelling and screaming contest because they didn't want God to be there. But God is the beginning of everything that starts in America. He is the source of life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness. Of course, they don't protect life. No, they don't protect life. And they're failing in what they should be doing as a government when we don't protect life. Do you know what? Take abortion aside for a minute. 
don't you know that Americans are fundamentally pro-life by the way we act? Do you recall September 11th? You remember the story of the lady in the wheelchair? People helped her downstairs and outside. They didn't check her ID to see if she's somebody important. Why? Because we have a fundamental understanding that people are important, that life is important. That's why you've got sheriffs. That's why you've got police. That's why you've got doctors. That's why you've got firemen. Why? Because we value life. That's who we are. And then you got liberty. Now people want to tax you and tax you and tax you and destroy your ability to save for yourself and your family to pass that on to your children. That's not liberty. That's tyranny when the governor starts to take uh, the government starts to take like that. And last of all is the pursuit of happiness, and that's being crushed under the burden of more laws, more regulations. It's being crushed under red tape. It's being crushed under taxes. More uh, executive orders. More and more and more Washington. And that's really the choice in this election. You're going to have to decide. Because all of this big government that Obama and Claire McCaskill are building just isn't working. That's why gas is twice as high as it was four years ago. That's why food is up. And all of that crushing red tape is destroying jobs and businesses. And that's why there are jobs. It doesn't work. So you have a choice. Do you want the America of our founders? Do you want the idea that God blesses you with these things? Do you want to pass that to your children and to your grandchildren as I do? I would give anything to do that. Or do you want to follow the path of Greece? Always more government, more taxes, more red tape. The choice, that choice is yours. Now, there may be a few of you who are just pretty independent in spirit. I do know something about the show me state. Would you like to send a message to the people in D.C. to tell them that you're fed up? Then vote for Todd Aiken for Senate.